there. First blog, second attempt. Fuck computers. Yeah, so just a quick explanation. Uh, my name's Oscar Britton. Um, I make video games. I've made one game. It's called World's Fastest Pizza. It's on Steam. It's alright, check it out. Um, and yeah, I'm making another game called Desert Child. Now it's kind of like uh, the, the speed of black scene in Return of the Jedi meets like clerks. So what better way to kick off the first one by saying I haven't really worked on the game in about two months. Um, I've just been really busy with university at the moment. Um, but the good thing about that is that because you, I didn't really feel like doing any art because that's what I do at university, like drawing and stuff. So I've just been doing a lot of like game feely stuff, you know, keeping it like getting it really tight and c the controls really good and stuff. So I'm pretty happy with how that is now. Um, and it's also good like walking away from a project for a while and then like, coming back to it and being like, fuck, how did I think that was a good idea? So there's lots of things like that. But um, uh, I wrote a list of shit to talk about. Oh, um, so yeah, if, if you've never seen anything on this channel before, I make these little games. I spend about two to three hours making the game. And I make a game about like a current issue or event or something that's happened in the last like 24 hours and then I make a like quick kind of sketch or whatever about it and I put it on YouTube and then the game is there too. So if you want to check out any of those, they're just under the playlist. I made a game um, and I've made like three or four now. So you know, they're alright. Some of them are better than others. They, you know, they're pretty quick. Um, one thing I wanted to do with this video was uh, I've got a game now that I've sort of worked on over the course of the last two weeks. I've been too busy really to do a proper one, but I kind of just did all the mechanics and stuff and it's completely bare bones. There's no like setting or like story or anything. It's just shapes moving around. It's kind of like Luftrausers that meets like Jetpack Joyride or something. Um, and yeah, I kind of wanted to put it out to people on the internet and I'll make another video for it, I think, and I'll put it on Twitter and stuff and just be like, hey, what do people want this to be? And I'll then do some art for it and then release it as that and see how that goes. I kind of feel like it's a little bit like a game jam where I've kind of programmed the game and then someone else is like doing the other half of it. So it's like a crowd sourced game jam or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, what's next on my list of things? Oh, I'm going to PAX. A friend of mine, Jacob Janurka, who's making a game called Paradigm, there's a link in the description. Um, he gave me a ticket. He was like, he's, he's like showing something in like the indie showcase or whatever. Um, he's showing his game, Paradigm. And he he, he caught wind I didn't have a ticket that I was like this poor little Oliver Twist and he's, I was like, please sir, can I borrow a ticket? And no, he, he offered and he, he gave me one of his like tickets that he got given. He got like a few of them or something. And I guess I have to like help him out with stuff on the day. Which is going to be pretty intense because I've got like final portfolio submission for university and then I literally have to like drive to the airport get on a plane with like nothing I'm just taking like my laptop and like some underwear and then I get on a plane I arrive in Melbourne Australia <laughs> at like six in the morning or something over there I think they're on daylight savings time now too so that yeah I'm gonna be fucked and then I get on a bus from the airport which takes like an hour and a half to get to like central Melbourne then I get on like a tram or something and then I can basically go from my house to a plane no, go from my house to uni to the airport to then that goes to Melbourne and then I get on a bus at Melbourne and then I go to the centre of Melbourne then I get on a tram and then I go to the convention centre straight like, and I'm not going to sleep for like 48 hours. So that's going to be fucked but kind of fun. <laughs> and yeah, I'm staying with uh, Louis Roots who runs Bar SK I think it's called or... I don't want to get this wrong because he'll like yell at me. Yeah, Bar SK. That's that's what the place is called. And I'm like sleeping on his couch. Um, I kind of want to say thanks to him as well. So thanks. And also thanks obviously to Jacob as well. But um, 
I think I might make a game about the whole thing, because that's kind of like my shtick now, making shit games really fast. I had tea, I, this is the second time I've done this. I had tea the first time, and I feel like it was, it was like a good prop. It's kind of something to hold so I'm not fidgeting, because now I'm just playing with my phone. Oh, just a little bit of, like, current events, so that, you know, this date, it dates the video. The Nintendo Switch got announced, previously called the NX, and people lost their shit about it. It does look pretty sexy. The, the Nintendo Switch is a sexy bitch. Um, and, you know, it looks like they're kind of doubling down. It, 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 it's, they've sold it. The trailer that they did, it's all it is, it's just a video of people like wandering around playing this fucking thing. In situations you would never play a fucking video game also. It's like people like, hey man, there's there's like a woman literally like playing games in this like ridiculous IKEA looking apartment, right? She's playing Mario. And then she just looks out the window and across the street there's someone having a fucking roof party. And they're like, they, and then they look over at exactly the same time, see her, and they're like, come over to our roof party. And then, instead of just being like, oh, sweet, let's go get, let's have fun at a party, she then grabs her fucking Nintendo, and she's like, oh, I'll take this to a party. And then she goes over the street, up into this thing, and she's like, alright, now everyone play my fucking Nintendo. Do it! And have fun! And there's literally like... I know they're actors, but there's like the people in the background, because only two people are playing it at once, and there's all these people in the background just like holding the red cups that every American party has, and they're just sitting there like, oh yeah, that's uh, well, that looks kind of interesting, I, I mean, I'm not playing it, so, cool, thanks, you really kind of ruined the mood of this party, <laughs> so, that really stood out to me, but uh, yeah, it looks, it looks like, you know, good marketing. In terms of like speculation stuff, I think what I would like to see from it more than anything is, and someone did, I'm stealing this idea, but someone did like a concept of like, because the controllers like slide out of it, right? So the idea of like different controllers that you can like slot onto it that like have different configurations of buttons. So you could have like a Street Fighter one that has like six face buttons and a good D-pad. And it was like, hey, that seems like a pretty good idea, you know. Um, so it'd be interesting if they can do something like that as well. I would be into it if they did that. Um, Red Dead had a trailer as well, and it was like, hey, look, who would have thought the sequel, to the, th the third game in a series that are set in the Old West is going to be set in the Old West. <coughs> and I don't know. People don't seem to be very excited about that. I think it was a little bit overshadowed by the Nintendo announcement um you know i i i liked red dead redemption but it's kind of like the perfect cowboy game for me and i really need to play another one so probably you know wait to see with that one um yeah that's about it um album of the week something i want to try and do um because i listen to a lot of music jaguar ma um Every Now and Then, I think that's what the album is called. Uh, it's really good, they're an Australian band, and their new album is pretty good. So check that one out, Jaguar Ma. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter, at Moomoomang, M-O-O-M-O-O-M-A-N-G. Uh, please like and subscribe, and check my other videos out if you want, or don't, I don't care. <laughs> See ya.